Hey guys, how's it going? This is gonna be the last solo video for 2020. Just wanna say, I have put out 365 videos so far this year. This is video number 366, so averaging just over one video a day. Thanks for coming along the journey with me. As always, let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about a stock that we haven't ever talked about on this channel yet, and that is MVIS or Microvision, ticker symbol MVIS. This has been highly requested, not only in the YouTube comments, but in our Discord server. So like we always do, we'll talk about the overall market today, the last trading day of 2020. We will look at the Robinhood trading graph today to see how it did. We will look at some news articles that came out. We'll do some updated, or actually I say new technical analysis. And then we'll end the video looking at the option flow data to see how the big money investors were trading MVIS today. So let's get right into it. Looking at the heat map here, Looks like we closed out 2020 in predominantly a green note. You know, they had us in the first half because the first half of the trading day was kind of a mixed bag, kind of flat, a little bit red. And especially during the last two hours of the market, especially the S&P 500 SPY, we rallied pretty hard. Take a look at this overall green now on the heat map to close out the day. Amazon ended up a little bit red. So did Apple. Microsoft was kind of flat. Kind of big news on Microsoft that came out. News recently broke that they actually have been hacked by Russian hackers. I'm actually surprised that Microsoft was able to stay green today, but that's a story for another day. Semis were a mixed bag. AMD was down 0.6%. Honey Badger doing what Honey Badger does, up 4.5%. Intel also up over 2%. But let's get right into it. Let's talk about MVIS and take a look at Microvision. So if you're not familiar with this company, Microvision, it says they engage in the development of laser beam scanning technology. So they're actually similar to some of the other videos I made in the past on Luminar Technologies or laser. And you can see they have their product called Pico P brand. And I think it's Pico P or Peacop, but correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. But Pico P scanning technology, it addresses the following market segments, interactive and non-interactive projected displays, 3D perceptive LiDAR sensing for consumer electronics, augmented mixed reality, and 3D perceptive LiDAR sensing for automotive active collision avoidance. And these are the keywords right here, LiDAR sensing for automotive active collision avoidance. So a lot of these EV tickers, we're talking about things like Tesla, Neo. I don't even wanna say Nikola because they're just a Photoshop company right now. But a lot of these EV companies, they're looking into using this LiDAR technology, whether it's from Luminar or Laser or from Envis. So I think whichever one of these two companies gets the big contracts is the one that's going to essentially go to the moon. So I don't know, some people are team Envis, some people seem to be team Laser. Let me know in the comments below which one you are, but that is basically what this stock does. And I think it just kind of gets lumped in to this EV sector boom right now. And that's why it's actually been on a tear, although there's signs of it slowing down. So taking a look at the Robinhood graph here, you can see it was actually down almost 13% today, down another 1.9% today. Not looking that great. We go to the weekly graph, down 23% on the week. So I don't know, did we miss the peak? And now are we in a sell-off mode? If you had it for over a month, you're looking pretty good because even now, Microvision is up 122% on the month. Now, I will make a note. This is a relatively cheap stock in that right now, it's only trading at $5 and a quarter. At its peak, two days before Christmas, it was trading at $9.25. I mean, we are at risk right now. Anything less than $5 is basically considered a penny stock. So it was a penny stock for the longest time and it looks like we are at risk for it to becoming a penny stock once again. We're only 25 cents away as of the making of this video. Let me show you a news article that I saw on Microvision that may or may not change your mind about if we're gonna be bullish or bearish on Microvision. So here's an article on Yahoo Finance about Microvision that actually came out two days ago, and it's titled, Microvision announces $13 million at the money equity facility. So what does this mean? Well, before we get into it, this article does do a nice job, again, of summarizing what the company does. And it says that Microvision is the creator of PicoP scanning technology, an ultra miniature sensing and projection solution 
Based on the laser beam scanning methodology pioneered by the company, their platform approach for this sensing and display solution means that its technology can be adapted to a wide array of applications and form factors. It says they combine their hardware, software, and algorithms to unlock value for their customers by providing them with a differentiated advanced solution for a rapidly evolving always on world. That's a lot of tech mumbo jumbo, but it just reiterates what we read on Robinhood about what this company does. Again, they're very similar, it seems like, to Luminar Technologies in terms of the LiDAR space. So what is this article getting at? Well, basically they're saying that Microvision, they announced that they are entered into a $13 million at the market equity offering agreement with the Craig Hallam Capital Group. And that was two days ago on December 29th. And what this means is that under the agreement, the company may, from time to time at its discretion, they can offer and sell shares of its common stock having an aggregate value of up to $13 million. So I think this is essentially not good news for investors because I am interpreting this to mean that they can essentially offer $13 million more worth of shares up for sale and essentially dilute shares of their stock. So as investors, in theory, that is going to make their share price go down because there are now more shares of stock available to trade. It's simply supply and demand. And that might be the reason why we had a little bit of a sell-off the past few days, but it doesn't explain the past sell-off we've had over the past week unless somebody already knew this news and there was some leakage of news and people were already selling the stock off before this news actually broke officially. So the article does go on to say that they are completing development of what they believe will be the best in class LIDAR sensor for range, resolution, and frame rate, which is an engineering challenge. So they're basically directly competing with Luminar Technologies or LASER, ticker symbol LAZR, and it says that their team remains on track to complete their long range LIDAR sensor sample in April of next year. So we'll have to see. I think it seems as though Luminar Technologies and Microvision are battling it out for the LiDAR space, particularly in the vehicle market and not just the EV vehicles, because I believe Volvo has entered into an agreement to use some of this similar technology in their cars in the coming future. Let's take a look at the trading view graph to see how Microvision has been trading and if we can do some technical analysis. So here's the trading view graph on Microvision. If you're new to the channel, every candle represents one day of trading. This orange line is the 21 day moving average. The pink line is the 50 day moving average. We have volume bars here at the bottom and then underneath that is the RSI curve. So the first thing I like to do is start with Fibonacci retracements. So I think what I'm gonna do is start right here on November 2nd intraday. It looked like that's our recent low and then our clear recent high is here back on December 22nd. We'll draw fib levels something like this see how that plays out and I actually really like how that's setting up right now because one of the first things that caught my eye was this area of trend right here and that's at about six dollars and sixty cents let's just call it 650 or so remember these are not exact values they're more areas than exact numbers so just keep that in mind it does look like for quite a few days it was acting as support back on December 22, 23, and 24, even on the 28th, and then it acted as resistance as we sold off. So I'm liking that area right now as an area of resistance since we had a red day today and currently we're trading at $5.18 after hours. The next area that I looked at was somewhere right around here, which is right around $4. And again, it looked like it was resistance on December 16th. We broke above it and it was now support the following day. And then another area is right here at about $5. Same idea, was resistance, we broke above it, and now looked at the support for December 18th and 21. So right now, it actually seems like every dollar is an area of trend. The next area actually that I like is all the way down here, which is gonna be around $2.75. You can see for quite some time, it acted as resistance for a bunch of these candles. So I think right now, I'm going to leave these four areas of trend up right now. It looks like $5 is going to be our support. We bounced off it just about intraday today. So now the real question that everyone wants to know is where do I think or what's my prediction 
for how this stock is going to trade in the new year. How is it going to trade come Monday? Well, looking at everything, I think it's kind of a 50-50 guess right now because it looks like the RSI curve is a little bit on the overbought side, but not by much. I do think, though, we will still have a continued sell-off, maybe down to at least $5. So I'm going to draw an arrow like this. The other thing is this 21-day moving average is going to act as support. So as we kind of go further out in time, the 21 MA is probably going to be around $4.50 or around $4.75. So that might just intersect this area of support right at $5. The so $5 may end up being a relatively strong area of support, maybe for a little bit of a bounce in the future. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Like I said, we are trading 20 cents lower already than where we closed at. We're right now only 18 cents away from being officially a penny stock. As far as I know, aside from that recent news article I saw, there wasn't any news that kind of explained why all of a sudden we had this huge green candle on December 22nd and it basically been selling off every day except for one day since then. The volume has not really been that great. It has been higher than it has been for the past few months, but that doesn't really help us too much. So I think we're gonna have to wait and see. I don't have a strong opinion on this either way. We could be a little bit green as well. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, let's end the video looking at the option flow data on MVIS today. So here's the trade UI option flow platform that I used. You can see nine sweep orders came in on MVIS today. If I scroll down, the green boxes represent call options that were bought. The red box represents a put up that was bought. And looking at this very quickly, you might say, oh, there's more green than there is red. So more call options, so we're bullish, or the big money is bullish. But I think it's actually quite the opposite. If you take a look at the strike prices, right now, MVIS is trading at just over $5. There's only two call options, this one right here, and this one right here for the $7 strike. All of the other options are basically less than where we are trading right now. So I think there's only two bullish plays that came in today, and they're both for the February and May expirations for next year. The, all the other options, we have one put option that is clearly bearish, but all the other call options are at the $3 strike or the five or $550 strike. And that means that they're already in the money. Well, most of them are in the money, I should say. The 550 is just barely out of the money. So that tells me that these might be hedges. So that might also be another kind of bearish play. Someone is trying to hedge against their MVIS position. So I think overall, the option flow data is showing us some negative sentiment, some bearish indication, which might go along with what we were seeing on the TA as well. So let me know in the comments below what you think about MVIS. Do you have shares? Do you have options open on it? What are your trades? What are your plays? As always, add me on Twitter, add me on Instagram, follow me on Reddit, join our Discord server if you're not in there already. I hope you ended the year 2020 in the green. If you did, let me know what percent your portfolio was up in 2020. And I hope we start 2021 on a green note as well. Happy trading and happy new year.